Secondary school children in Rouge and Tamworth have been involved in a number of workshops so that they can become engaged in the design and development of those school buildings. So they've had a day in uh, London uh, and there's a couple of days planned uh, in the county where they'll be working on all sorts of uh, tasks to do with uh, the future development and design of those schools. In the Sorrel programme, which is organised by the Sorrel Foundation, who are based in London, that's a three days where the first day the students go down to London and they take part in the Sorrel Challenge. That involves looking at the way spaces are used, looking at the way their schools are used. But particularly, over the number of about 10 years or so, secondary students have come up with about 12 to 15 aspects of schools that they either like very much or don't like at all. And on the challenge day, each of the schools has to agree out of those 12 to 15 common themes what are their priorities and they then work on them. We then spend um, the afternoon then outside in London on the South Bank looking at the built environment, looking at architecture, looking at signposting and how these things that are out in the public can actually get used within a school environment. I've been working with some students and the Sorrel Charitable Foundation which is a foundation that works on designing creativity with young people and it's been our job to find out what the students views are on designs for the new school so they've been working on things like learning spaces and the priorities that they think are really really important when designing a new school. The things that tend to be the problems for, for children or the things that they think could be better in the secondary setting tend to be dining spaces, toilets, storage spaces, uh, colour, uncomfortable furniture, the width of corridors, um, the outside space um, where it's not particularly welcoming. There's no hanging out place. Uh, when you're a teenager you quite often like to hang around with your friends um, and our secondary schools just don't have those facilities. Um, one of the things we did was to inform the rest of the school about what we've been doing through a series of assemblies. So they've been on an assemblies road show, travelling round Rugeley across the Alfgar Centre, Hagley Park and Fair Oak. And also they actually helped me to design a space lesson, which is a lesson that is usually to do with citizenship and PHSE aspects. But they wanted to use that space lesson to get student voice across the whole community. So they had a series of activities that the students could do and then that gave the students an opportunity to feed back to us what they think are the key design issues, the things that concern them about the school and the things that they would like to see in the new school. So hopefully the whole school community will feel that they've been involved in the process. The final outcome from the Sorrel Day um, in Staffordshire will be in February where we're having a celebration day in Burton-on-Trent at the Pirelli Stadium and on that day the, the, the students and the pupils in the primary schools will then present to one another the outcome of the work that they've been doing and the culmination of that is a, it's what we call a pupil brief and that then has a life through the design of the school uh, when the design consortium have been appointed who'll design our secondary schools we will expect them to continue to refresh and look at the pupil brief and make sure that the work that the young children and the students have done gets carried through into, into the actual designs of the new buildings. Uh, when we went to London we sort of like got together and like talked about how what are bad things are at our school and like how we can improve them or what else we can do. We need more furniture, more colourful furniture, more spaces to just be together and things like that, better eating places. Who all I've been hearing is make our school good to be honest. We're all enjoying it, all of us are pitching in and everybody at home is really excited about getting this done as well. You've designed it, you're like, oh wow, look, I've, it's actually, I'm actually, I've actually done it, I've actually designed something for the school. To think that we're actually here representing Wilnicott and we've been, we're lucky enough ourselves to be able to design this new school for everybody, not just for us that are really here now, but for newcomers to come as well, it'd be absolutely brilliant. It'd be like leaving a piece of us down there.